What is up, my Thicker Bricks family? This is Dr. Lucky coming to you from Thicker Bricks headquarters, the Lego Asylum, with the much anticipated, never duplicated Thick and Bricks Shineville City update number one. So, this is going to be my inaugural update. I know I've done updates in the past, but I wanted to get this one recorded together and out there so everybody can see what I'm doing in the city as of right now and obviously as you can see there is a lot going on in the city I am like a dog when it sees a shiny object and I'm kind of like "Ooh, what's that what's that what's that what's that what's that you know so when I start to build and something I, I think of another idea or something pops into my head, what I will do is I'll jump to some building something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the city. Um, this is going to be the beach area. Obviously, my city, my initial city, don't pay no attention to the potter on the corner there. That's all the potter from this table over here that I have to uh, eventually move and get rid of. And it was just a holding table. I don't really know why I put all that on there because I eventually got to get rid of all these sets because I have to sell all these sets because I don't want to get into potter anymore. And it was a phase that I'm in it, that I was into. Now I'm out of. So now we're concentrating on the city. I will say though, with this city. It's going to be epic. You guys on these updates, I'm going to try to do updates every week. But what's going to set my city updates apart from the rest is there will be um, much staging. There will be mucho staging. There will be backstories. There's going to be characters. Every week, you're going to get basically another episode of Shineville, the city update series, the YouTube series, whatever you want. Now, the cinematic... Uh, quality may not be there obviously as you know Fick and Bricks doesn't do much with editing but character development plot lines plot twists you're going to get to know the characters you're going to get to love the characters and you're going to want to watch every city update because some of the characters may be around for one city update two city updates 10 and some of the characters may only be around for a couple and then you'll get to know all the characters you'll get to be engaged with the characters and you might even get to uh you know find yourself one of your sig figs may even be one of the characters in my city updates you just never know what's going to happen and that is going to again is what's going to set my city updates apart from the rest as you will get to know the characters there will be plots there will be again staging there will be storylines and again every city update is going to be something new and something inventive and something freaking awesome so i'm gonna do this really quick kind of give you guys where i'm at right now this really hasn't changed much this is going to be like the kind of the carnival area again the tiki bar is going to be in that area there this is going to be a beach here beach there little spot of a beach over here i had a beach in my original city um back in the day brickburg and i love the beach the beach was just awesome so i'm going to bring that back um obviously you've got the river running all the way through to here up into here this Ninjago City building is going to have a whole backstory to it. It's going to be awesome. Basically, the land, the, the Moonshiners own all this land here, but they sublease this building and this land out to somebody. Crazy backstory. Wait till you see what's, who owns this building and what goes on in that building. It's going to be awesome. I just can't wait for that. Um, we got a, the farm is almost done. I want to say the farm is like 90% done right now. Um, as you can see, we got the, you know, the farm equipment here. We got the crops here. There's another Moonshiner cabin right there. Uh, Moonshiner cabin over there. And then I'll get around to the backside and show you the grave sites of the Moonshiners from years past over there. Got some tractors. I did do some more crops over here. And then we got a horse barn over here. It's kind of a makeshift horse barn over there. And I do have gates coming in and out of the uh, of the compound here. And there's some moonshiners hanging out there. Again, all these guys will have backstories. The gals will have backstories. Everybody will have character names. I can't wait to start working on it. It's going to be awesome. And as you can see, there are video cameras all around the farm. So again, that's going to add to the lore of the farm and what goes on in the farm. And let's throw a little... Shout out there to Eclipse Graphics for providing me with that Fig Life uh, um, Mason, brick Mason uh, wall there, masonry brick wall there. So that's fantastic. And then obviously you got the moonshine right there hanging out, being produced in the, uh, in the farm over there. So that's the farm. I will get to that in a little bit around the backside of the farm so you guys can see that. Because there's really not much has gone on with the city. I put a couple buildings in. We got Assembly Square here. Um, I like my road set up right now. I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, we got obviously got Cafe Corner here. 
we got the pet shop and the apartment right there. There's a little uh, mini big sticker over there in the back wall over there. I did do some um, some potted some potted plants and some uh, you know kind of some shrubbery in the uh, the pot you know the plant potter potter plants plant potters plant whatever you want to call them. I did a little mason brick on the bottom there, and then it's kind of uh, just for some uh, just for some you know just for some breaking up of the sidewalks there. Some some greenery. We got some Star Wars figures hanging out. Not really sure why they're hanging out there, but they are. They're hanging out in the city. Planters. That's what I wanted to say. Planter boxes. That's what those are. See, eventually I will get that. Get to that. Planter boxes there. Put the green grocer on the end here, and I'm going to give you guys a wide pan out of what I'm doing here so far. So I'm going to do base plates all the way around this section here. I might take out these two right here because as it sits now, I can do, was it two, four, six? I think it's eight here, eight um, buildings here, eight modular buildings here. If I take out those two, I can put 10 in here. And then if I needed to do the end here, I could do 11, 12, and 13, which I think is actually the exact number of modular buildings I do have to put on this table. So it should work out pretty perfectly here. Um, I ran these base plates here. These little guys right here, these 16 by 32s, dark bluish gray. I ran these all up the side here. So I gave, I had a little extra spot on the side here because the table wasn't obviously uh, the width of the, of the base plates here. So I had a little extra, but I mean, look at this. This worked out pretty perfectly. I'm almost right up to the edge of the table, which is really cool. It's a little bit of edging on that side, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. And then this extra spot over here is where I might do some, uh, put more modulars if I need to. One, two, and possibly three or four right along here. So... I'm going to bring it down to over the section here that I kind of worked on a little bit more here. Kind of sit down on this one so you guys can get a little uh, view of the bakery right there. So we got the bakery on the corner there next to the other bakery. So that's going to be a rivalry right there. So we already got the rivalry setting up for the for the storylines of the uh, of the of Shineville here. So there we got that there. Uh, shout out to Shiny Brick. Sorry, man, I did use Shineville, but I'll, I'll send you some money once I start making money on this channel. Rest assured. So then we got this little area over here that I've been working on. And again, I kind of took, took the shiny penny route, the dog route, looking around and like, oh, shiny, sh shiny Lego here, shiny Lego there. So I started to do some tile work over here. So this corner is pretty well set right now. I kind of like it. I got the hot dog cart here. I have the uh, little table with the umbrella here. And then I got a bench, obviously, there with some flowers that actually fell right there. But I'll pick those up in a second. We got somebody just sitting on the park bench right there. Picnic table there. With the camera, no hot dog yet, but um, that's to be that's coming up there. And then I made these little uh, more some more planters. I don't know. I'm all about the planters. So I took out the light bluish gray and made it dark bluish gray to kind of give it some contrast here. I know you probably can't see it with the shadowing, but I think it looks pretty cool. Did these little rounds up top here with this with the two by two uh, tiles here, kind of give it a little bit of a you know just some colored look there. I think I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. So just kind of a walkway. And then I'm going to open these up so I can actually fit minifigs, like actually walking in some of these. I'll just get to put a one by one round in here so they can be walking around and stuff like that. So I can position them on there so they don't fall over every time I hit the table. And then there's probably, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of those 16 by 32 is going all the way down. So that gives me a lot of buildable space to go all the way down this table and create you know sidewalk gardens um kind of whatever all my back scenes right there so that's going to be awesome there because obviously if i'm doing all city buildings on the inside of the table i'm going to need this outside for some people and some greenery and some some coolness on the outside here so that's pretty sweet there so again this corner looks like it's almost complete probably about 90 percent complete right now on this side here this section here but i'm just going to keep building out obviously the modular buildings here and then just keep working on this side here and I'm going to end this video with the backside of the farm. And I apologize ahead of time if I fall and kill myself because there's so much crap on the floor here. But I just wanted to show you guys the backside of the uh, of the Moonshiners cabin there with the 10, 20, 30 years of Moonshiners right there. A couple generations of Moonshiners laid to rest in the uh, right by the Moonshiners cabin there. That's the main Moonshiners cabin right there. And then you can see my uh, little bit, my attempt at a forest over here with some rock work. That was my first attempt at some rock work and some uh, over here on this side. I know it looks a little bit uh, uniform, but again, that was my first go around at the uh, rock work here. And then I used these uh, bamboo pieces to kind of level it off there and kind of give it a little green feel around the uh, backside here. I am going to do 
uh, brick all the way around here. So I'm going to make the, uh, this whole side of this wall here, or this whole side of the table here is going to be a wall similar to that one that goes all the way around the back of the buildings here. So the whole farm is going to be actually uh, walled in, basically. So for, for lack there of a better term. And as you can see, I'm going to end with these. But again, backstories galore. We got cameras all over the farm. There's cameras everywhere on this farm. There's two on this water, uh, grain silo here. There is a couple over here on the uh, right there off the buildings here. So there's a lot of surveillance going on on this um, on this farm here and there's a guard shack like right uh, there guard shacks right there so there's gonna be an armed guard in there with the uh, as you can see some monitors in there I can't see them but there are monitors in there and then that's the big view from the table here so that is my first city update of Shineville 2021 like comment subscribe and remember life is better with free Lego from Fick and Bricks the Mr. Beast of the Lego community